CrazyMikeSash.com with an Android app video demo for Memento Database. This productivity app consolidates all your information into one database using libraries, groups, and a community effort that makes this app even more powerful. As we get into this application, here's what it looks like when you open it up. Top right, you can add a library, add a group, or subscribe to somebody else's library. You got a magnifying glass there to search all of your libraries, and there's a variety of ways to do that. And then you also have a favorite tab if I had some favorites in there. And also I could check out my history of where I've been in my libraries and groups. Tap on the far right and you have settings help and you can get the pro version. Now I want to add a library. I have custom from online catalog, task, CD collection, and more. The online catalog provides a bunch of library templates that have already been created by community users. You can download those if they fit what you're looking for and they are a great help to cut down on some time to make your own library. But I'm gonna show you how to do that yourself. It's custom. Tap on custom, it goes under my libraries, which you can rename and you can actually call it any kind of group or whatever you want. And I'll show you some more of that. As I go through and set it up, I can name it, I can change the icon color for the title, I can change the title font color, I can add a field name, there's default values, autocomplete, there's a lot of different things you can do in setting up, even library protection through an encrypted password add a function and you can see there you can do a sum max min and average so there's some functionality in that sense that is more important if you're trying to keep track of numbers and things like that now i have to add a field name a field hint that is in this case you can see the field type text integer real number boolean and that all has to do with the search like i spoke to you about earlier now the default values in there, entry name, entry description. Again, this is the field function. So you create your library, but you've got to add stuff to your library. Again, in this case, I created Android apps. I had gone back and renamed it, and I made uh, the ability to put in an app and the cost of an app. In this case, I'm gonna put in, of course, I need to add something to this library. I'm gonna add the Memento database. It's a free application, at least the free version is. There is a pro version. In that case, I have an app in there, one entry, and it tells me so. Now I've added iOS apps, so I can keep track of all of my apps. And notice it says my libraries. I'm gonna change that but you'll see that later. Again, go back in here and you can download all of these. See, I've actually changed my libraries. I've downloaded some templates. Apps is to the right and it's got the Android and iOS apps. And then on the far right, I have some shopping in a grouping of its own. Tap on my favorite tab and it can take me there. I can search through everything in this app. It's got a bunch of functionality and a lot of other things. Barcode search, you can sync with Google. You can go into the help and it tells you everything you need to know on how to use this application. What is Memento? And you go through that. You could also register to upload your libraries and you can even share your libraries with other. So there's a collaboration kind of a thing here and you can share through SMS. You can link your libraries to Google Documents. You can export CSV and import CSV files. You can see some of my files in Google Docs, which is now Google Drive, and it gives you some references there to what's going to happen and how you want it to work. This application, again, is Memento Database. It's an all-in-one productivity app for database management. Until next time, Crazy Mike, saying see ya.